I just wanted to go over a couple things that I found uh, very useful for me as I'm trying to plan for this wonderful virtual term that we're all started. So if anyone knows me, I am a planner to the extreme. And as I started planning out my weeks, I found that you cannot hide assignments uh, in Google Classroom, or if you can, I don't know how to do it. Um, at least it's not intuitive. So what I would suggest that you do, uh, or what at least what I'm gonna do, is make a master course. So the reason you would do this is, for me, I was planning out all my uh, assignments and I was trying to dump assignments in. You just dump them all into your master course and then when it comes time to assign them, you can just then drag them or uh, assign them, uh, click them over from the master course. So uh, this way, students can't see all your assignments for the whole year. That would be very overwhelming for them uh, because you can't like turn them on and off. So what you would do, and I just copied one of the courses I already created. You just go into your dashboard, you do the three button, and then you copy that course. So if you've already started making your courses, just pick one of them to copy. So what I did is I copied over my History of the Holocaust and Democracy course. And now when I open up this, I can now dump all my stuff into my folders and organize it the way I want to. And when it comes time to assign those uh, assignments, then I can just go into the assignment like you would normally do and go in and then assign it to my actual courses. So. Uh, I think this will alleviate some people's uh, stress if you're trying to think ahead. Um, also, one of the benefits of this is that if you can create master courses, then you kind of have a curriculum warehouse for anyone else who teaches the course. So, uh, for example, we have you know three teachers that teach uh, democracy. We have three teachers that teach Holocaust. But if all of a sudden next semester someone else teaches it, I can just share them my master course and they have all the units uh, organized that way. So that could help some of you if you're trying to plan ahead. Um, in, uh, you don't want your, all your assignments to show up uh, for your students. Another thing for me, again, I'm very organized. I'm very, uh, just get a little OCD with the visual. Um, if you click at a class and it's going to look like this and it has all of your stuff, all your posts, it's very just not clean. It's all showing up in the stream. Uh, something that uh, I did right away is if you go into the uh, settings and you go down to the stream, you or what I'm clicking is only teachers, or I'm sorry, I'm going to do students can comment. So they can't post, but they can comment on my posts. And this one here, I'm going to hide all notifications. So now when I go back to the course or the stream, it looks so much prettier. Uh, I just don't have all that stuff. So now classwork, obviously they can see the classwork, but when they start it and they open it, it's just not, here's 50 posts and every assignment that uh, Mr. Flynn put in there. So hopefully if you're one that likes to have your digital life organized, um, making a master course and some of the settings to clean up your stream can help you out. So let me know. Again, email me if you got questions. Bye everyone.